we're back for a short one, so as you may notice, this is not uh, the same Faith and Pixels character we've been running, but actually a whole different character. Uh, mainly the reason because the last recording we did ended up getting corrupted right around the Dragon area, something about fighting in the outdoors just didn't agree with my capture software, so this guy is going to run through the section up here until we get to, to the, the Sanctum. Uh, the character itself is uh, a Faith Dex build that's mainly just themed around, uh, let's see, Simon Belmont. Uh, so he uses a whip. Uh, he's got some other tools though for uh, taking care of PvE sections, which we'll switch to if the uh, whip ends up not being good enough. Should have come back for more Sunlight Blades and Estes Flasks. Let me do that real quick. Because I will probably need the blade for taking out the dragons. Yeah, I just had to run through a few few areas to get back on the same page just to do this small area. Um, which is fine. Not too big a deal. I ended up actually skipping a few of the bosses just by uh, hitting the million soul limit. Um, yeah, so I'm uh, going to go through the trivia here the second time. The Dragon Area itself is a um, familiar location for fans uh, of the initial uh, release trailer of Dark Souls 2. It's one of the prime areas that was featured along with the, uh, the uh, Emerald Herald. I was going to say Herald Emerald or something. <laughs> um, it's got a few interesting mechanics about it. It's a very pretty area. Um, one of the first things you'll note is the dragons, of course, flying all over the place, along with this big guardian drake itself. Very similar to the last boss we fought. I have no idea how well the whip performs. Not super fantastic, and getting stepped on doesn't help either. In all honesty, the whip is much better served just for PvPing. As you can see in the top left, this guy is actually Bell Tower Covenant and does that a lot. I don't see whip very much in PvP, so people don't really know how to play against it. Excellent range. Um, durability is not fantastic though, and the damage ain't the greatest either, which makes doing PvE content a little bit tricky. In fact, I guess it's probably not going to work, so I'm going to have to probably switch out to my PvE weapon, as it were. Same moveset as the Guardian Drake uh, boss, except you don't have to worry about him flying. Uh, much smaller area to work with, though. Let's see if we can get a drink in. Kicked right now. Whoop. Okay. Well, I have no idea if he can breathe down the hole or anything like that. This gives us a chance to switch out the weapon. So when I'm not using this plus 10 lightning whip, which once again, mainly PvP thing, Raw Saint Tear Spear is my next best bet here. This thing is not very dependent on statistics other than the minimum you need to wield it. After that, you might as well go raw if you're not... Although I think I've heard mundane is a thing as well. Uh, because the moveset, it's fantastic. And the damage is pretty good too, at least for, you know, the first 100, 150 soul levels. After that, no scaling means it will drop off. God, that foot. Stay put. Yeah, I'm about to eat another foot. Yeah, I just got nuts there. Got lucky. Uh, did we any crystal lizards left? Or did we 
scare them all off. This place is great for resource farming. Uh, lots of crystal lizards all over the place, and the dragons themselves can drop petrified dragon bones, so that's of note. Uh, okay, smashing eggs now. So that bridge over there you can see in the distance uh, is pretty famous for being an early preview in the game. Uh, it was shown somebody walking across the bridge and getting knocked off. Uh, your first play through the game, though, you may not see that mechanic depending on how much you like to explore around the area. It's actually tied to the dragon eggs in the area. If you break a good number of them, the dragons actually get a damage buff and are, you know, do a much better job of killing you. If you manage to smash all the eggs in the area, dragons will swoop in and actually knock you off. Just one hit kill, no fuss, no fuss. My first time through, though, I was like, oh, they must have took out this mechanic because it was too harsh, but no, it's just if you're mean to dragons, they will be mean right back to you. Uh, the only other enemy in the area to worry about are the mummies uh, with armor degradation as their explosion, which is kind of annoying. The cool thing about the St. Tears Spear, though, once you've got it, you got the uh, large rock on the end broken off, not only do you get a move like a kick-ass move set, but the spear itself has no durability on it, so, or rather infinite durability. So it's really good for uh, journeying around, exploring, etc., etc. Once again, this character used to probably be a little bit more effective before the whole Faith and Earth, and I'm barely carrying any lightning spears as it is now. It's still fun, though. Like I said, use them mainly for PvP. Let's see, we've got another dragon up in this area. Bone. There's at least three dragons, if I'm not mistaken. This is number two. Along with some crystal lizards. So this one. Got him. It might actually be enough twinkling titan. I can get the last plus that I needed on this, but now we have a dragon in front of us. We can get a little bit of a jump on him. Twin blade type techniques work really great with the damage buffs as you get multiple hits in. Just gonna be worried about which foot comes down. Probably should go spend them. Said we're just trying to get through this area real quick and then be set back up for where we need to go. Let's see, next area. It, I think it's through here and a drop off, and I have no idea what message I left. Bunch of stuff. This I think was my maybe my first character that I rolled on the PC version. Um, dragon below us, and also we've got Crystal Lizard. Which we're gonna try to go for. Probably gonna get fire breathed on us for attempting that. Okay, and there's at least one, maybe two Crystal Lizards in the area as well. So. The dragon near the center, we don't have to worry about them running off.
Oh. I had no idea you could do that. In this arena, anyways. It's worth noting that the dragons are actually totally optional to fight in this area. You can totally skip through without having to deal with them at all. Did the body get flung or did he... Okay. Seems like they have broken quite a few eggs this time around. Hopefully we will not get flung off. Let's see. There's some more eggs in there if I feel like pushing my luck, but otherwise... Should be getting near the end be able to open up a checkpoint. Rather a shortcut back to the way we came. Which I believe... Let's see, that's the bridge there, but we want to... do this little bit right here. So that if we have to come back through, make it uh, a little bit easier. This was a great farming spot. Um, a lot of in-game players use it. There's all sorts of stones to be had from the lizards and the dragon themselves, obviously provide boss material as well. Um, bonfiring aesthetic is, makes it, it doesn't raise the difficulty by too much, so if you absolutely need stones to complete your arsenal, this is the place to do it. Shame it comes so late, but yeah, you know, it's kind of probably the way it needs to be, unfortunately. Oh, uh, I think I just, okay. I was about to say, I think I just messed myself up there for a sec, but I can just climb on through. So there should be another line to hit. Let's see. Is it this? Yes, it is this. Okay. There's a drop-off point right there, which I don't think I'm ever going to try to hit. And now it's just going across the bridge. I really like the visual a lot. This will bring us to the shrine. And they bonfire as well. So that takes care of that. Really short video. Um, mini episode, if you will. And uh, we'll get back to doing a regular strength guy. Uh, we'll have one more day to do some, DL some stuff before the last bit of DLC drops, and hopefully he should be ready. So uh, thanks for taking this little uh, detour with me. Hopefully... Uh, NVIDIA GeForce experience will be a little bit more cooperative, and I will see you guys next time.